Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to do a collection update. This is my collection closet, which you may have seen in some of my other videos. I just redid it recently and was able to squeeze in a ton of more figures, um, so I wanted to share those with you all. On the top shelf here, we have The Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Kenobi, and Jedi Fallen Order. Down here, we've got the original trilogy. And then on this shelf, we've got some sequels and then Clone Wars and prequels all crammed into one. And down here, we have the Rogue One shelf that I just added once I got the Saw Gerrera figure. I had some Hot Toys up here. I also had some custom figures that I got online, some Funko Pops, some convention exclusives, some vehicles, just whatever I didn't have a place for elsewhere in the collection. But I really felt bad about having so many figures in storage. So I decided to turn the top shelf into another Black Series shelf, printed a bunch of hexagon stands, and just filled it all out with about uh, 50 or so new figures. I don't even know how many are up there. But let's take a closer look and I will talk you through as many as I can. This frog lady is 3D printed. Printed. I want to redo her now that I have a resin printer again. This is the IG-11 Figure Arts, which is an unbelievable figure if you can get your hands on it. This Mithral is from Frederick's Figures. I really love having him on my Mando shelf. This Bill Burrhead was repainted by Tim's Toys, and I repainted the arm armor so it wouldn't be red. That Din Djarin head is by Nuno. That Boba head is by Fett Clone. Of course, all of these people will be linked in the description below. This Bo-Katan is a repaint by Uncle Sam's Cantina. And then this Carson Tiva was painted by Frederick's Figures. I repainted this quill a long time ago, and I kind of like the way that it's been wearing away. I think it actually looks more screen accurate. I did some dry brushing and dark washing on Cosca Reeves and the Death Watch Mandalorian here to make them look a little bit more lifelike. My Mandalorian figure has an OT Customs head and cape, but is otherwise just the Black Series figure. This Grogu and Pram came from Asus Film Models. They are an incredible customizer team. And then we've got the Mortar Stormtrooper from Amazon, Cara Dune. These all have matte sprays on them. I did do some dry brushing and some dark wash on the leather on Q90 there to make him look a little bit more lifelike. And then this Boba Fett head is from Fett Clone, and I did a dark wash on the armor to make it a little bit darker, and I also some dry brushing there to make it look a little bit more metallic. This Tusken Raider child is a custom using a Tusken figure as well as a Ghostbusters podcast figure, and then I think the pouch is from Ray. I have a breakdown of that on my Instagram. This Black Santin is mostly sculpted by me, and then the armor is printed from John Walker Customs, designed by Skylu, I believe, just over a Chewbacca body. This 8D8 droid was 3D printed and I painted it myself. It's not my favorite paint job that I've done, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think he looks cool on the Boba Fett area here. And then there's this Pike Syndicate leader. This is from Mono Torm Sale on CG Trader. And then I 3D printed it myself and also painted it myself. I used an airbrush to get it a little bit more smooth. And then I used some very thin painter's tape to do the yellow stripes. This is a Cobb Vanth also repainted by Tim's Toys. Then we have my custom off-world Jawa. This is just a regular Jawa that I just darkened a little bit and did a little dark wash on the leather and gave him red eyes, which have worn off. I need to repaint those. Then behind him is the Weequay Bartender. I always thought this character was kind of cool looking and I found that this Admiral Akbar body worked really well. Then we've got our little Snitch Rodian from the Book of Boba Fett episode one. And this is a Cal Kestis body with a Hero Mashers Greedo head. It was like a $7 figure. And then my 3D printed 99 droid, and then my custom Plo Koon, which is based on the Brian Matias concept art from the final episode of The Mandalorian Season 2. They weren't allowed to say that Luke Skywalker was in the show, so they used Plo Koon in all of the concept art, and I just thought it looked really cool, so I based the figure on that concept art. Then we're moving into our Kenobi section here with the Wandering Jedi Kenobi. You can see Lola has her own little stand here that I uh, printed as part of the Hexagon stands. And then this guy is very popular. This is Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett by Frederick's Figures. He has a breakdown of this figure on his page. He will be linked below. Definitely go check that out if you're interested in seeing more of how that was made. Then we've got Tika the Jawa, the new Target exclusive, holding the T-16 Skyhopper that I designed and 3D printed. I'm going to try to make that available soon. Then we have my custom Obi-Wan and his Tibidon Station look with a Fett clone head. I don't remember exactly which bodies I used here. And then the Scoundrel Stock Vader helmet I painted up recently. It's a little too red. I need to do some work on that. In the back here we have the EOP from Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I painted that up. It's in my Reva figure review if you want to see more of that. And in the front, we have my custom painted BD-1. This is based on his yellow appearance in the game. 
but I just kind of had fun hitting all those details with a very tiny brush. Another FET clone head. I have a full video showcasing my FET clone customs. If you guys are interested in seeing that, you can check that out on the channel. He also did this Iden Versio. And then this is just the stock body. And then some Jedi Fallen Order stuff back here. I added the pauldron to that scout trooper as well as that stormtrooper just to flesh out the Jedi Fallen Order area a little bit. Hopefully that will grow a little bit larger soon. I don't know in which direction I can grow it since it's pretty stacked here for now. But let's go ahead and move on to the original trilogy shelf. Right here in the middle, of course, we have Jabba the Hutt on his dais, and then this incredible Leia by Tim's Toys, and this Ula by Frederick's Figures, as well as Bib Fortuna back there. And then this little frog guy that came in a three-pack called Jabba's Denizens that I found at a comic book shop. Unfortunately, the price has shot up on those. Then we have this Tessic custom back here that I did using a Bib Fortuna body and a Mando cape. And I forget what the outer cape is. I think it's DJ. And then the head, I forget where I got that. I think Tucson's casting. Back here we have the Max Rebo band. These were from Monotorm Sale on CG Trader, printed by Failed Imagineers, and painted by Frederick's Figures. I have a whole video showcasing the making of these figures on my channel if you're interested in seeing that. And then over here we have some figure arts Han Solo and Luke Skywalker with the Black Series hat. This figure arts R2-D2, some standard Jawas, the Bandai Model Kit R5-D4, and then the Mafex Sand Trooper here. Then we have Figure Arts Ben Kenobi with the alternate closed eyes head. And then over here we have the Death Star Gunner. This is from Hoth Cave on Instagram. It is just a kit that goes right over the Death Squad Commander body. Over in the back we have the Nikto Skiff Guard custom on a Lando body. And then moving back over this way to the second row we have the A New Hope Figure Arts Chewbacca and Princess Leia. Next to her is the Black Series Grand Moff Tarkin with a custom hand. Then we've got the Figure Arts Emperor. I have a comparison to the Black Series one on my channel if you want to see that. This Stone Cold Steve Austin Figure Arts head on a Rebel Fleet Trooper body. Next to him is Darth Vader. This is the Mafex version from Rogue One. And he's next to a Gamorrean Guard, straight Black Series figure. In the back we've got General Lando with a custom cape, Nine Numb, which is a custom that I made. And then Naylan Chill here with his weathered instrument. Next to Ponda Baba and Greedo, I gave their bodies a dark wash just to bring out some of that detail there. Now let's move over to the other side. This is more of the Empire Strikes Back area with the bounty hunters in the back, Chewbacca and C-3PO there. In the front here we have some custom Ewoks and some stock Ewoks. Then we have Bespin Leia. This is a custom that I did that Tim helped me with. And then we've got Dagobah Luke. This is the Mafex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, if you'd like to see a comparison video for him, that's also on my channel. Another custom protocol droid. I finally made a stand for Han Solo and Carbonite that fits in perfectly with this hexagon system that I designed, so I'm happy to have that there. And then the ATST driver over here is also a custom, I featured him in another video recently as well on a Bodhi Rook body. And then Lando and Chewbacca over here with C-3PO in his backpack. And now let's move on to the prequel shelf here in the Clone Wars era and see what we've got. We've got a custom Anakin in the front here with a Nuno head on a figure arts body. This is also a Nuno Obi-Wan back here. This is my custom painted Kiari Mundi. I think that is a Marvel Legends body. I'm excited for the real Kiari Mundi to come out eventually. This C-3PO from Attack of the Clones and this TC-14 are customs I made just using Black Series C-3PO figures. Then we have a figure arts battle droid. I really like the clean look of that. This figure arts Padme is amazing. It was a grail item of mine for a while till I finally found it. This is the figure arts Yoda next to a custom Anakin by Tim's Toys and a pit droid that I painted. This is a Fett clone Palpatine head on a Severus Snape torso. Then we have my Senate Guard Commando custom, which I featured on the channel. Up there we have my Zam Wessel, which is a G.I. Joe body. And then the Bandai model kit Grievous with a dark wash on it, my custom Senator Jar Jar figure, also using the Bib Fortuna body, next to Figure Arts Maul, and a custom Anakin with a head by Nuno, and then this awesome Clone Wars Ahsoka and Obi-Wan, which are great figures right out of the box, Figure Arts Mace Windu, and then a custom Magna Guard by Skylu 3D that I 3D printed and painted, another Fett clone head on Commander Cody there, this incredible Shaq T from Tim's Toys, and then some 3D printed figures that I printed, uh, Clink and AZ-1 from the Bad Batch with Omega, custom crosshair, Echo, and Hunter heads also by Fett Clone. I did a full video on all of his work pretty recently. 
And then some dry brushing on all of the Bad Batch figures to make them look a little bit more metallic. This 3D printed Super Battle Droid is by Whisper Customs. And then stock Clone Wars Cad Bane with a 3D printed Toto 360 in the back there. And then this clone Captain Rex, this is the Jedi Fallen Order poncho that I repainted. And then it is another Fett clone head on there. Camino and Customs made that custom Apo. This Count Dooku is from Nuno, and the hand is from a Marvel Legends figure. In the back we have Clone Commander Grey, this green clone back here. This is also by Camino and Customs. And then we have Captain Hauser over here. This is fully head to toe by Fett Clone. Unbelievable face and body paint on this guy. We've got some overlap to my sequels section over here, which is some favorite figures. A lot of figure arts here. Then we've got Django Fett, also by Fett Clone and then this custom head by Scoundrel stock on an Omega body to make young Boba Fett. This BB-9E, which is from Figuarts, I found that at the Frankenstein show for 15 bucks, I was so excited. This incredible Leia from Tim's Toys, and then some just stock Figuarts with the crate Luke, and then more Tim's Toys customs with Finn and Poe. I got those from Tim right when we first met and right when I first kind of started collecting Black Series. And then some figure arts troopers in the back here. These are pretty cheap since the sequels aren't too popular compared to other figure arts figures. But there is the Clone Wars prequel sequel shelf. And then down here we start the Rogue One shelf. Nothing too crazy at the start here, just mostly stock figures. I did double up Cassian's vest there and paint the top one blue, but it's the same vest just on twice to make that puffy vest that he has. And then this is a custom Admiral Radis, which is just a straight repaint of the Admiral Akbar figure. I did airbrush this to get a little bit of a smoother finish on there. And then this custom repainted Krennic by Tim's Toys. There are rumors that he will be in the Andor series, so maybe we will finally get an updated face paint for him since the original figure is pretty lacking. And then this is a custom that I made using a Hoth Rebel Trooper. I forget what the character's name is, but his outfit is pretty much the same to the Hoth Rebel Trooper. This closet has gotten pretty crazy over the last three years. This has pretty much been my main hobby all through quarantine and now coming out on the other side. I started my Patreon over a year ago now and I use most of the money that I make from that and kind of pour it right back into the collection, especially going to other customizers in the community whose work I admire. And so I feel really, really lucky to be able to have so much of their work on display in my shelf here. If three years ago when I bought my Mandalorian figure, you had shown me what my collection would turn into, I probably wouldn't have believed you, but I feel very, very lucky to have found something that I enjoy this much, and I love that I can come on here and share this with all of you, and I hope you discover some awesome new customizers today. Everyone is linked below. Go check them out one by one. You will find so much amazing stuff on there. And for all of you that have been following me on Instagram for a couple years since I started this crazy new hobby, thank you for supporting me and the, for all of the people subscribed to the Patreon. You guys are awesome and you guys are the reason that I can continue doing this and enjoying this as much as I do. I've been working hard to put out new dioramas each week on the Patreon as well as new videos almost every other day on YouTube here. So liking this video really helps me out, subscribing helps even more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.